Good morning, folks. So here I am in the blue city, Chef Chuan. I've just come up to the rooftop of my hotel slash Riyadh theme sort of place, and it is absolutely stunning here. Take a look at this view. What a beautiful place when they set out a rooftop. I didn't expect this. You got a lovely outside area just around here. So, gonna go out and explore the city today. But first things first, gonna get some breakfast. So Chef Chouan has been quite firmly on the tourist trail here in Morocco for quite some time. It's harder to get to than a lot of places, there's no direct train line because we're up in the Rift Mountains here, but it's known to be one of the prettiest towns in Morocco. And I can see why just walking through the start of the old Medina here. So another reason why this town became famous with backpacker communities in the past was basically the easy availability of dope here. So I've been offered it already twice just walking around here I and mean, uh, they, uh, they just accept uh, no thanks, I'm too old for that, which is the absolute truth. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of interesting, still very, very available here. But I'm sure I don't need to tell you what this town is. You've probably seen it on a ton of Instagram pics already. The beautiful Moroccan and Andalusian influence, whitewashed and blue buildings, the terracotta tiles on the rooftops, it's truly beautiful. So I found, I think the main square here, if not one of the main squares, but certainly the centre of the town, and it's just fantastic around here. Already I've managed to get lost, just in a very, very short walk around, but I think that's going to be the joy of today. Beautiful colour everywhere, these beautiful designs and patterns that you see. Lovely guest house, uh, Riyadh sort of place ahead of me. It's kind of like a fantasy walking around here, it doesn't seem quite real. These tiny little streets fooled with this vibrant, vibrant blue and patterns and colours. Absolutely beautiful. And yet again, I find myself completely lost, heading actually in the wrong direction from where I was trying to go. These streets are an absolute maze. But still, quite happy to be lost amongst this. It's so quiet around at the moment as well. There's a few locals setting up, I guess, for a bit later in the day. There's hardly any tourists here yet. As expected, the big crowds of day trippers haven't made it here yet. Just uh, the few people that are actually staying here. And here I end up with a choice of directions, up or down. And this time we're gonna choose down. And there, would you look at that? I basically ended up so lost that I've come round in a big circle to exactly where I started from, this square. Not the place I was looking for whatsoever. Okay, so after chatting to a local guy on the square there and basically getting lost a little bit more, having a bit of a walk and eventually resorting to Google, which wasn't actually gonna get me there by the route I took, but hey, made it here anyway. So here to the main square. First thing I notice, uh, it's not true what I've been told, there are ATMs here. But this looks uh, very different again. We have the big Casbar ahead, so completely different architecture than all of the buildings around. This is stunning. With the Grand Mosque to one side here, the Casbar behind here, and then the beautiful Rift Mountains in the background. Oh, my name is Zachary, I'm from here, from here, from Chichao. Oh, you're for a local, okay. My name's Chris, so... Nice to uh, meet you, Chris. Where yeah, are you I'm, from? I'm uh, English, but I live in Amsterdam. Oh, okay, Amsterdam, Netherlands, 14 job, years. Lovely job, Lee. Welcome, sir. Thank you, thank you. I was you. a tour in Morocco, in Chichao. 
It's been awesome. I've just arrived in Chefchaouen. Uh, I arrived yesterday late, so this is my first full day here, getting wonderfully lost around the Medina, Welcome, and uh, that's a joy in itself. I hope you have a beautiful day and then beautiful time in Morocco. And Thank then, you. guys, please follow home and subscribe and then share it with a friend and uh, wake up to Morocco. So locals actually refer to this town as Shuan, which simply means peaks, referring to the Rift Mountain peaks that surround the town. But in 1975, it was renamed to Chef Shuan, which actually means look at the peaks. Kind of crazy name, right? But I think for me, I'm happy to look at the peaks around me. I'm happy to look at the town. It's all a thing of beauty around here, that's for sure. So I've just come into the Kasbah. It's uh, cost me 60 dirhams. That's the foreigner price. It proudly says the local price there, 10 dirhams, even written in English. <laughs> kind of funny, but whatever. I'll pay the money, I'll come in just the way it is. But I seem to have come in at a quite a busy time. So there's this uh, event, uh, Top Chef Morocco, which seems to be going on at the moment. So it's quite full of, uh, full of people here right now. So hopefully there's something interesting going on with that. So this Kasbah or fortress was originally built in the 17th century, supposedly to defend against Berber tribes and the Spaniards. They actually let you climb the tower here, which is a nice bonus. Should be able to get a nice view from up here. Kind of blown away. Have you ever seen anywhere like this on Earth? It's, uh, it's incredible, it's completely different. There's contrast and variety all over the place I've travelled in Morocco, but this is just something completely different again. Nothing like anything I've ever seen. Beautiful. So we seem to have this little Riyadh place in the Kasbah, basically housing a museum nowadays. It's all in French and Arabic, so I'm not going to learn too much myself, but still, lovely little place to come in. Just so much colour here. These vibrant blues, but then this wonderful artwork as well. This fascinating architecture, it's just beautiful. Well, what a day, just walking around the Medina there. It's really, uh, it's really quite cool and people are so friendly. I mean, to be fair, the majority of people are trying to sell me marijuana, but that's fine. They're not, it's not a hard sell. I just say no and then I end up having a chat to them. All good, super friendly, just really nice. Really nice, completely different vibe from being in the big Moroccan cities. So just climbing up this mountain, hill, whatever it is, but this is kind of hot work. The sun's obviously going down a little bit now as we head closer towards sunset, but still, not so easy getting up here. But I'm just wondering what the view is going to look like if we can get to the other side. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. And so there we go. It seems that on top I've reached this fortification, this wall basically that I saw from down below. Seeing this, it feels like a completely, completely different side of Morocco. And it is, of course, it is. Everything's different. The landscape is different. The buildings are so different. The people are different. I've seen ever-changing sides to this country. But this is probably the most removed from the big cities. The most removed from the other parts of life I've seen here. Just sitting here on the mountainside. It's a nice relaxed spot. The sun's gradually going down. I'm in the shade here, cooling down a little bit before, well, we walk up to the Spanish Mosque. Looks a long way, but it's not as steep as this route. This is the path up to the Spanish Mosque. It's pretty hard work so far. Thankfully not climbing any higher for today. This is more than enough, but the view is spectacular. Absolutely, I see why everyone says to come up here. And this is it, the end to a very, very long but uh, beautiful day. I've really enjoyed Chef Shawan from walking around the lovely old Medina and the crazy little streets 
at uh, the food competition all the time I spent there tasting some of the good food there and just seeing this wonderful uh, this wonderful life there and now here up by the Spanish mosque for the sunset the end of yet another little trip on one big little trip that's it folks hope you've enjoyed the video if you have use that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you next time.